What's going on guys, you just be here. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a video about the MagSafe charger. This is the new charging solution from Apple. Honestly, it's good, but watch the video to find out what my thoughts are on the new MagSafe charger. But before I do share my thoughts with you guys, I do just wanna to say to make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, but also subscribe if you wanna win one of these. If you live in Canada or the US and you want a MagSafe charger, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and then drop a comment below in this video or my previous video on the iPhone 12 unboxing and you'll enter the giveaway and you'll get a MagSafe charger or if you live abroad, not in Canada or the US, you can still enter, make sure that you subscribe and you'll get an Amazon gift card. Let's get into the video. As I was watching the iPhone 12 announcement, I was not excited about it. I'm just like, okay, what's the point? It's just a wireless charger. It's not that cool. I bought it and I started to use it and I see the point now of why this thing is actually super, super handy. And there are a couple things I don't like which I'll get into later in the video but let's start with the things that I like about this you don't have to worry about the cord always being in your way which is super annoying when you're using just regular chargers which is why I like wireless charging no cables really and the other benefit to this is that it gives 15 wattage of power output so that's pretty good you could charge your phone quite fast with this and I usually just plug it in under my desk so I don't really have to worry about it as opposed to my other wireless charger which has a big big downfall which is I place my phone on the charging pad and then I get a text I answer the text and then I put it down to charge again and then I get another text or a snapchat message or an email the process repeats and at the end of the day it barely budges in the charging but with this guy it's magnetized it always stays on so you're able to use this phone while it's charging with no problem so that's a good benefit everybody knows the impact of wireless charging and why it's important some people like it some people don't but me personally i'd rather not give any type of wear and tear to my lightning port just in case so if i could use another solution I will. And also another benefit of this is that this magnet, super strong. It's really strong. I could hold my phone upside down. The magnet in the case, the phone and the charger are pretty strong. So I'm able to use it and not have to worry about this falling. So what don't I like about this? First of all, the cord. It's not the greatest cord in the world. Apple historically has made crappy cords with their devices. Any iPhone user can tell you that their cord usually breaks and it kind of bends at this point. That's one thing that I'm worried about for the future. I don't think this is sturdy enough. If I need a new cord, I'll make sure to get a new cord from uh, Amazon and I pick one up and it's usually more durable than the Apple provided chargers. One more thing is this is kind of short. I'm not sure exactly how long this is, but I usually use six feet threaded charging cables and this one is definitely not six feet so I put it at my desk and sometimes it's a bit hard for me to use let's say I'm in bed and I'm trying to reach over it's still kind of hard to reach uh, so you want to make sure that you have an outlet that's plenty close and you need to stay a little bit closer to the outlet because it's really not that long and something else that I've noticed today while using it is that a lot of people have said you know this might cause wear and tear on the phone and I'm sure that Apple tested the MagSafe charger, but I still noticed a bit of a pattern. If you look right there, I hope you can see it, but there's a circular imprint there from this MagSafe and it's on this case. Again, this is an OtterBox case, but it might also happen on the iPhone if you use it for an extended amount of time. It's always a possibility. And again, I'm sure Apple tested it, but I'm still a little bit worried about it leaving that. Now, of course this can buff out, I'm sure, but over time I might just have a circle on my case or even the wallet case that I might be buying. So that's something to consider when you're using this. But other than that, it's not really that bad. I actually like using it a lot more than the lightning cable itself. Again, give the lightning port more relief and not really use it too often. So one more thing that I like to point out about the MagSafe charger, this is literally going to be the way of the future. I think Apple very soon is gonna release a new phone which is completely portless. This is what people have been saying for years, but I feel like next year it's gonna come out, especially since they released MagSafe. And this is really gonna get us used to it. It's a way to ease us into it. And personally, if I don't need to bring my lightning cable with me, I'm always gonna bring this one, so that's good. But Apple is really trying hard, I think, to get us used to more wireless capabilities with the phone. They removed the headphone jack and gave us AirPods. Soon, they're gonna remove the lightning port and just give us this. That begs the question, should you buy this now? And the answer is yes 
and no. Yes, because this adds a whole lot of convenience to your phone. It just feels good to not be able to use a charger and always carry around a lightning charger. For me personally, I don't want to carry a lightning charger because I just rather to carry around something like this where I could charge my AirPod and this without always plugging in. I'm just super paranoid about plugging things in and this is good that I don't need to anymore. But no, because I honestly feel like a lot of people and the majority of the people actually can get away with still plugging in and using the cables that they already have or they're already used to. I don't know, it's a bit conflicted. Should you buy it? Yes, if you want to live in this wireless world. I don't regret purchasing it, but for a lot of people, I don't know. And something you gotta consider is, in the future, I really think that Apple is gonna go completely portless. And what I think is that they're gonna start including this MagSafe charger instead of this. So you're gonna get this in the box, and not the USB-C to lightning cable that you've gotten in the iPhone 12. I think this is a temporary solution, but this is the future. So you might wanna get ahead of the curve and get yourself used to using MagSafe because MagSafe is the way of the future, I'm telling you right now. It's not worth it if you're okay and you've been okay using the lightning cable, but it absolutely is worth it if you want to go completely wireless like myself. Those are my thoughts. Again, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so you just need to make sure you're a subscriber. Comment on this video or my last video. Let me know what you think about the MagSafe charger and the iPhone 12. Let me know what you're purchasing. If you're buying an iPhone 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, make sure you comment below. I'm gonna be doing my full review of the iPhone 12. That's coming out sometime this week. And so if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. That is everything. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.